What did dinosaurs actually sound like? We'll never hear the real thing because sounds don't fossilize. But scientists can make educated guesses by studying fossils and comparing them to modern day birds and crocodiles, their closest living relatives. In the original Walking with Dinosaurs, Utah Raptor snarled like a Komodo dragon. Now, thanks to discoveries like a fossil brain case found in a nine ton sandstone slab, we know it was probably feathered, social and intelligent, making communicative bird-like calls much more likely. In 1999, the T-Rex roars were built from a mix of big cat roars and crocodile bellows. And our new Tyrannosaurus... Still impressive, but this time we leaned much more heavily on crocodilian bellows and hisses, because we now know that big cat roars are uniquely mammal-like. We also now know that many herbivorous dinosaurs like Edmontosaurus and Pachyrhinosaurus lived in herds. They had strange nasal anatomy, possibly fleshy sacs that worked as resonating chambers. That could mean honks, rumbles, trumpeting sounds, the perfect way to say, Hey, over here! Or, Get out of the way! We may never know exactly how dinosaurs sounded, but now we have a pretty good idea. So, 